the world's best fragrances by scenario, in my opinion. What's up guys, this is The Centrepreneur here today with a new video. So today I'm doing a request from a reviewer on uh, my last video and you know what, it sounded really, really good. Today I wanted to give you my top two or three recommendations for every scenario that you're going to see in, in, the run of a, in the run of your life. So I've got a bunch of fragrances laid out here. I did my best to pick selections that I genuinely thought were good, not just what I like. This, in my opinion, this is the best, but again, this is just opinions. So basically we're gonna go through the different scenarios that you would see in like a rotation video, like casual work, date, etc. And uh, I'm gonna name off, in my opinion, what the best fragrances are for that scenario. Again, this is just my opinion, so don't take it as, uh, as the word, but a lot of people always ask, what do you think is the best club scent? What do you think is a good date scent? Casual, whatever. The answers are all here. Okay, so we're gonna start off with casual, and I mean, for casual, insert any fragrance that smells pretty decent at a reg relatively low price, and by relatively low, I mean, I don't know, under $60, $70, something like that. So I've got two picks right here, one of them I own, one of them I just have a sample of. In my opinion, these are two of the best casual fragrances right now. Anyway, we've got from Jean-Paul Gaultier, La Malo Fresh, which is just a kitted up version of the original. You know, the original's kind of like a club banging classic, and this one, it doesn't belong in the club really, you can do it, but I personally found this one best just for casually, you can wear it on dates, but it's just best as a dumb reach fragrance during the warmer months, you just throw it on, smells sweet, smells fresh, fantastic. The other fragrance, however, is actually one that I don't talk about enough, in my opinion, that's because I do only have a sample of it. It is Versace's Dylan Blue. This, in my opinion, is the not another one of the best casual fragrances out there. And it just smells like shower gel. That's it, just like body wash. You know, it's one of those incense grapefruit fragrances. It's it's very synthetic, but at the same time, it just smells awesome. And I know a lot of people, girls and guys, really love this fragrance, and it's super affordable if you can get it online. So if I had to pick two casual fragrances that I would say are the best, I'd go Lamalo Fresh for my own experience and Versace Dylan Blue because it's so cheap, such a heavily complimented fragrance, so, so well appreciated, and so easy to wear. So that's casual. Okay, so next up is the work category, and I actually do have three fragrances picked out for this one. So first off, if you work inside, in an office, Prada Lome is the best work fragrance for you, bar none, done, sit down. It's fantastic, it's so luxurious, high quality, I can't say enough good things about it. Enough good things haven't been said about it. It's it's an all-star, unbelievable fragrance that you can wear casually as well. It's just a little more expensive than the options I gave you there. If you're in an office, wear Prada Lome, thank me later. If you are a little more physical, like I do personal training, Mugler Cologne is the way to go. Mugler Cologne, this is soapy, this is fresh, it's clean. It just smells like hand soap. I remember one time my mom had this green hand soap and I featured it in my Moogler Cologne review because they smelled the exact same. And I was like, you know what? This is just how well this fragrance is done. It's perfect. It's perfect as it is. It's not gonna blow anybody away, but if you wanna smell fresh and clean for five to six hours, it's a fantastic fragrance. The third option that I have for you is actually a niche scent. And this is obviously on the higher end, but uh, it's from Francis Kirk John and it is Aqua Universalis. Not Forte, just the original. So it's got bad performance. I'll start it off by saying that. It's not good performance wise but it smells awesome and in my opinion, besides these two, it's probably my next top soapy fragrance. It just smells fresh, clean. The, the original smells masculine, forte, not so much, but the original is very masculine, smells great. It's, it's got this musky vibe that's just very, very awesome. And if you, by some chance, get good performance on your skin, props to you, because then it's gonna be a killer. But for most of us, we're gonna have to reapply it would be my third option out of these three picks. So that was work. Okay, so next up we've got night out or date. So this could be a night out with the boys, it could be a date with your significant other, it could be you going on a Tinder date, whatever. I do have another three options here for you. In my opinion, they're the best. 
This is my opinion, my experience. So I've got one that's uh, relatively cheap, one that's fairly in the middle or upper end of designers, and a niche fragrance. I'm going to start off with the niche fragrance. The niche fragrance is Parfums de Marley Layton. Layton is a heavy, heavy, heavy compliment getter. Is it my favorite fragrance in my collection? No, but it's a nice switch up and for a night out on the town, this is so sexy. It's it's lavender and cardamom and vanilla, spicy and apples. And, mm, it's, it's delicious, mysterious and sexy. These are all things you want in a night out fragrance and Layton has them all. Next up, the middle of the road. Well, it's not middle of the road. It's an upper end designer fragrance, but it's also my favorite. It is Maison Martin Margiela Replica Jazz Club. My favorite fragrance, period. <sighs> Rum, tobacco, it's sweet. It's got like this coconutty vibe, it's vanilla, it's fantastic, it's tasty, it's a heavy compliment getter. It is my signature scent. I wear it as much as possible, it smells awesome. I highly recommend you try it. If you like Dolce & Gabbana the one, in my opinion, it's a step up from that. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but whatever, they're wrong. It smells fantastic. I love it. It gets me a ton of compliments. I love wearing it on nights out and dates. And uh, the cheapest option I have is actually a decant and it is CH Men Privé from Carolina Herrera. See if I can get the top off. So this is kind of similar to Layton in the vibe you're going to get where it's like spicy and sweet, a little dark and mysterious. You know what? It's, it's similar, but they're a bit different. You know, this has whiskey, it's got leather. Like I said, it's got some of that original sweetness from the original CH Men. It's an awesome fragrance, and in this day and age, I would recommend you wear this one over the original on most of your dates, just because it's going to get you better reactions. It smells awesome. Everybody loves it. For good reason. It works. So these are my picks for date or night out. Okay, next up is club. Wear anything loud and sweet. It's that simple. I don't go to the club, like, ever, but if you put a gun to my head and say, pick a fragrance to go to the club, it would be Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramal. Another one from Gautier, you know, that Le Mal DNA is really, really awesome. And in this one, they've just added like a bubblegum sweetness. They've added pear and it's just dialed up to shit. It's so loud. It's really sweet. It's going to be in people's faces. Girls love it. It's an easy call for the club. But like I said, I never go. So that would be my top pick, though. Next up, we got Daring. And of course, we got my favorite Daring fragrance in my collection, Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Man, man, I love Tuscan leather. This is leather, raspberry, it's ashy, and a malic. I know it's it's like harder to wear, and that's why I love it as a daring fragrance. When you want to just go out and be the man, or you want to feel like the man, you want to smell like the man, I think Tuscan leather is honestly as good as it gets. It's unique. Are there cheaper options? Yes, but it, you're not going to smell like anybody else. And for me, Tuscan leather is still the best. It's slightly better than all of the other options that I've tried anyway. So at Daring, I have to go Tuscan leather for one I own. And if you asked me another recommendation for a super daring fragrance I don't own that still smells kind of good, I'd go Amouage Interlude Man, the Blue Beast. So I don't like this one very much. I never would wear it ever, ever. But if you want something daring, it does not get much more daring than a bajillion different kinds of incense on your skin. This smells ashy, it's dusty, it's so loud, in your face, dry, spice. All of these aggressive notes, aggressive words you can think of, that is what Interlude Man is. It's so loud, long lasting, beastly projection. It smells scary. It smells like a badass man who doesn't really care about a whole lot. So if that's what you're going for, I think Interlude Man is a really good option. And uh, my top picks for daring are Tom Ford Tuscan Leather and Amouage Interlude Man. Okay, so next up we have Formal. You know how I feel about Formal. In my opinion, Reflection Man is the best formal fragrance ever. It smells awesome, it smells high class, it's soapy, it's got florals, it's got spice, so it's not too floral, it's not too soft if you're afraid of florals. You know, Reflection Man is just really in a class of its own as far as formal fragrances go, in my not so humble opinion, and it's definitely in that upper echelon hall of fame for niche fragrances as well. So I have to put Reflection Man in there, the formal spot. That being said, I do have another option for you, and that is one that I featured earlier. Prada Loam, you can wear this guy anywhere. Man, 
Okay, I don't think I smelled it before, but I love Prada Loam so much. Soapy, clean, goodness. Again, it's not quite as high class, I guess you could say, as Reflection Man, but it still smells really, really good, really nice to pair with a nice dress shirt, a suit. Fantastic, you're gonna smell fresh, you're gonna smell clean, you're gonna get compliments. <sighs> These are, in my opinion, the two best formal fragrances. So before I go to Signature, I actually have to have one more category that I want just to throw out there. And uh, it's my own, I've never even included it in a video. I've just really been enjoying this fragrance and I saw fit to include this category this year. So this category is mysterious, aloof, badass. Whatever, you pick one of those three words. And the fragrance, because I'm not very original, is Prada Loam Intense. Again, just a decant. But like I said, I love this. I really, really love this, and of all the fragrances I picked here today, this by far smells the most mysterious. It sm smells, like I said, aloof. It smells like a guy who's kind of on the edge, if you know what I mean. He's, uh, he doesn't play by anybody's rules. He's just doing his own thing. I think Jeremy Fragrance said that it smells like Batman, and uh, yeah, I, I agree. It smells like a dude who's got his stuff together. He's, he's not concerned of what people think about him. Like I said, he's just off doing his thing, he's off smelling good, and uh, crushing it with ladies, crushing it with whatever, what have you. So in my opinion, Prada Loam Intense, I had to include it because it smells so mysterious, sexy, and it just seemed fitting for me to include it on this list. For any of you guys who want to smell like any of those things, Prada Loam Intense is a great option that doesn't get talked about enough. So now we come to Signature Scent, and I don't have a fragrance to show you here for Signature Scent. Why is this? It's because a signature scent is your favorite fragrance. That's it. It doesn't have to be Dior Sauvage. It doesn't have to be Aqua de Joe Profumo. It can be whatever you want. What do you like to smell like the most? What is your top number one pick? That is what your signature sh scent should be. So like I said, for me, it's Jazz Club. Do I recommend you Jazz Club as a signature scent? Not really. It doesn't work in every scenario, but I wear it in every scenario because get at me. It smells great, I like it, it works with me. If there's a fragrance like that for you, that works for you, smells fantastic, you love to smell like this fragrance, then that is your signature scent. So I don't have any recommendations for you as far as signature scents go. You know, there are hundreds and hundreds of fragrances that fit every scenario, you know. I could have easily said Aventus, Sauvage, Dylan Blue, Prada Loam, Jazz Club. <laughs> I could have picked any number of these fragrances here for signature scent, but the fact is, there is no such thing as a best signature scent, really. There are a number of fragrances that excel in every category. Again, like Dior Sauvage EDT, Aqua Di Gio Profumo, uh, Prada Lome. They all excel in most of the places you're going to go in life, but I can't tell you that they're the best signature scent. The best all-time signature scent, blah. Like I said, there is no such thing. There is such a thing as a fragrance that you love to wear, you love to smell like it, it fits with who you choose to portray yourself as, and it just works for you. So I can't tell you what a great signature scent is because only you know. Like I said, my personal pick, Jazz Club. If you're looking for a fragrance that does well everywhere, Dior Sauvage EDT, Aqua Di Gio Profumo. But I can't tell you what a good signature scent is. I think a signature scent is your own, and just being a fragrance that is good in every place isn't enough for me to call something a signature scent. For me, a signature scent is what you want to smell like all the time. So, who the hell am I to tell you what you should smell like all the time? That being said, this is my list of like top picks for every category, guys. And like I said at the beginning, this is just my picks, but if you want to know my favorite recommendations for all the different scenarios, this is it. This is what I got for you. I'm not saying these are the best, I'm not saying they're the most complimented. I'm saying that in my experience, in my opinion, these are the best fragrances to my taste. If you want to know what I like, this is basically it. So guys, comment down below. What did you think of this? What do you think of this idea? Uh, thank you to the subscriber who recommended it. As soon as he did, I really loved the idea and immediately decided I was going to do it. So what do you think of all my picks? Do you agree with what I say about a signature scent? I know I could say, oh, dear Sauvage, blah, blah, blah. But 
it's, it just doesn't feel right to me to say that there is such a thing as a best signature scent. Like I said, the best signature scent is your signature scent. So comment down below. This has been The Scentrepreneur. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, hit the like and the bell to get notified when I come out with new content. I hope you enjoyed this list and I hope that you, if you wanted to know my recommendations, that this clarified everything. If you got any more questions, leave them down below as well. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a great day.